Okay, this is the sheet that you're printing today, and that'll be it from your homework page. There will be a link there, and what I've highlighted are the ions that you may need to make into card decks. And the card deck is going to have on the first side uh, something like this. So you would get on one side of the card would be ammonium ion spelled out, and on the quiz, ammonium ion must be spelled properly. If it's spelled wrong, no credit. Okay? When, the, when we get to the quiz. Likewise here. So, right, spelling counts? <laughs> spelling counts big time. And this, this formula over here must be absolutely correct. If you have NH3 instead of NH4, it's wrong. If you have one plus, you got that right. If you had it as one minus, it would make the whole thing wrong, even if this number is correct and you got the NH3. It doesn't matter. There's no side one and two now because it's, it's not necessary. It's, it's so easy to tell side one from side two. And then we'll mix it all up anyway because that's the way you want to be able to do it. And so th this, this is what slap it was made for. The other I was kind of jimmying a little bit, but I think it was valid to do it that way. And now your nitrate, again, you got to have the N, O, the 3 sub, and the 1 minus as a superscript. And so all of the spellings work. And I was just starting to get to this idea. Uh, if you can do this Cho 232, 1 minus, when you see that, that's what you should be thinking in your mind. It'll help you remember it. Okay? I always remember this as Cho 232, 1 minus. And that's the acetate on it. Cho, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Cho 232. And the others, you know, you just got to memorize them. There's no way around it. Now let's go ahead and put it in. Now we're going to go to the ChemThink assignment. And the ChemThink assignment is going to be on your ChemThink front page. And I'm going to go there straight in to s shorten this video. And we're going to call on someone now to try to put these two balls together. And Austin, you are it. Come on up, man. Put those balls together. Because they are ball shaped. Better, Austin. Put them together. Come on. Come huh, on. Having trouble, huh? They don't want to go together, do they? Hmm. What would that be like with magnets? North to south or north to north? North to north. Okay. So, is your what is your expectation if we go here? Will that work? Well, let's see. Nemer, come on up. Nemer is going to try to put these two balls together. Ooh, well, that was smooth, wasn't it? Yeah. See, it was love at first sight. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, watch what happens next. You got a tag along, don't you? Huh? <laughs> Oh, well, oh, isn't that sweet? Why won't it follow now? Huh? Too far apart. Okay, if you could see what I'm doing right now, I'm talking to those of you watching the video, I've got my two handy dandy, very, very powerful magnets, right? And we know when we put north to north, we get what that first screen was. They just won't go together, especially with these magnets, because they're so doggone strong. And if we put the two this way, and I'm going to do this right next to the microphone, ugh, they come together. That was north to south. And that's just what you saw on the screen a moment ago. So, as I come back here now, there's a certain distance that has to occur for them to start coming towards each other. They like each other, but they gotta be in close enough proximity. 
If your girl, guys, if your girlfriend is in New York, the proximity is too far. Long distance relationships don't work. If we come a little closer, a little bit closer, ah, there we go. So if she lives on the other side of town, things work out okay, right? And they will come together. There you go. So to break it up, it requires a little bit more than a casual force. Love is strong. Yes. So if I move it a little faster now, oh, 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 oh. got to get them far enough apart. And you notice it's easier for me to drag that once they're a little further apart. You can play with this at home tonight. This is a lot of fun. See, I get to play all day. That's why I like this job. Yeah. And so as, as you get far enough apart, it won't tag along. It won't come with you. So let's look and see what we've learned so far. This is the tutorial, by the way, for your assignment that's due next Tuesday. I would recommend getting to it tonight. What you have seen in the last two scenes is that charges that are alike will repel each other while opposite charges will attract and stick to each other. In order to build an ionic compound that will stick, you'll need both a positive and negative ion. So we know that. Ah, now, what is this one all about? Anyone want to venture a guess on this? Yes. What? Aha, uh -huh. left side of the chart below the stair step. And what is below the stair step? Oh, I can't do a pointer here. I can, I can point over here. But I'm going to draw in here so you can see this is the stair step that I'm talking about. And that stair step is, is that going to come away? No, it won't. I'll have to erase it. So we'll just erase that and we'll be back in business. At any rate, the below the stair step are your metals and above are your what? Non-metals. Non okay. So the metals, you want to make note on this, form positive ions. Why? What, what, what has to happen for them to become positive? They got to lose an electron, like the two atoms at the bar. They, the one atom says to the other, I feel really positive this morning. The guy says, how? The other guy says, well, how do you know? Oh, I lost an electron. Yes. Yeah? So if, if you gain an electron, do you lose energy? Gain or loss. Lots of energy. Oh yeah, okay. big time. That's where big explosions come from. Okay. Uh-huh. Change in electrons. That's the biggest change you can do to an atom. Yeah, that, that baby is big. And what do you think? Non-metals, right? Non-metals go negative because these are the guys that steal. These are the guys that lose. Okay? And when they lose, they go positive. When they steal, they go negative. And that's how we get both positive and negative ions in chemical reactions. We put metals together with nonmetals. And you saw that with the brainiacs. Remember that? Remember the brainiacs? The, they did rubidium and uh, the rubidium blew the bathtub apart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where the sodium and the potassium. It was a pretty good reaction, but not near as severe as it was with the more active guys. Because as we go down, especially in group one, these guys get really, really reactive as we go down that particular group one. Okay, and as we go a little further here, here's our nonmetals, and that's the section of the periodic chart where you want to be looking at. Good question came up. Nonmetals, or I'm sorry, the nobles, N O B L E, the noble gases, these guys, they're non reactive. Yes? You what? Yeah, okay. So these these nobles, they're not gonna react. Did I have that spelled right? Noble or no N O B E L. Noble? Is that like? Yeah, okay. N O B L A. So these are the guys with their noses up in the air, they don't want to mix with anyone. They just wanna walk around one. And so whenever you talk about reactivity, the noble gases are normally not included because to get those guys to react requires inhuman and un 
real types of forces and energy. So noble gases are pretty much their own thing. Wait a minute.